Mario, stop slacking off. We've got some levels to do. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Big Burger King, and I'm back for some more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we did some stuff. And in this part, we're going to start off with... Honey Hive Galaxy. We had a comment here, but... I just recorded this five seconds ago, and for some weird reason, Audacity was screwing up, and was recording the game volume instead of my voice. So, we're doing it again. So, I have a little bit to discuss, but I'll save that for after this race. Because we have a race here today. Also, pan to the side, you can get some star bits. We're going to need all the star bits we can get. Because we're going to need to feed that hungry Luma eventually. So, pretty much, go out here. And... This is, not Sparta, but this is Shadow Mario, and he's going to challenge you to a race. And pretty much, what you've got to do is beat him to the finish. I don't think that if you make contact with him, it does any damage. I think it just, like, he pops out star bits or something. But I was able to beat this pretty easily last time. So hopefully my streak of luck shall continue. These races at first aren't that challenging but some of them can get pretty hard if I remember correctly anyways let's jump up here avoid the honey of course long jumping around oh, oh, oh got stuck and get our silver star or clear star or whatever you want to call it crystal star crystal star because that's what happens to a star once you've already gotten it. If you go back in the level and reclaim it, it looks like that. Alright, now that that's done once again, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with a new galaxy. So, let's head over to... I was about to say the terrace. Let's go to the fountain. Alright, so on my way there... I have some stuff to talk about. So this is going up on Friday. For Saturday and Sunday, well, I'm not sure about Sunday. I'll talk about that later. But for Saturday, I am not going to be here. I'm going to be going away on the stupid trip that my brother has to go on because he's in Boy Scouts. And it would be cool because we're going to uh, Erie Canal or How Caverns or whatever the hell we're going to. But I've already been there, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mario just falling backwards into the thing like, oh yeah, I'm... Walking through doors regularly is so last year. I don't want to go to the map. Shut up. Anyways, so yeah, I'm not going to be here. And we are going to start Battle Rock Galaxy. This galaxy has some really good music, just going to say. Anyways, so pretty much what's going to happen here is I am not going to be able to record uh, the next episode of Sonic. And depending on what our plans are on Saturday, I mean Sunday... Once we get back, I may be able to record some Mario Galaxy, but I don't know. And since I'm behind, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to update Sonic uh, Adventure 2 until I'm ca all caught up with Mario Galaxy. And then we'll go back to the regular schedule. I'm thinking that if I get back, I'm going to upload... Like, if I get back and can record in time... Well, not really in time, but... If I get back and I can record, I'm going to do Mario Galaxy... Well, both of the episodes I'm behind in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm behind with two episodes. So I'll record both the episodes of Mario Galaxy that I'm not caught up with. And then immediately after that... Well, not immediately, but... The day after that, the regular schedule resumes. Anyways. Hold on. I gotta turn up the game volume. Because I love this song. It's one of the best in the game. And that's saying something, because this game has a really, really good soundtrack. One of the best in the entire Mario franchise. And that's saying something. Just saying. Anyways, use the pole star, get up there. I don't think there's a way to trick that one out, so... Had to go by the rules. Jump off that guy's head. We saw him in that one Terrace Galaxy that everyone forgets about. Anyways... Pretty much what we got to do here is dodge cannons that are looking to kill us 
Not get shot. Uh, not get electrocuted by these things. Collect a bunch of star bits because meteors with star bits keep falling down. Got some in the background that are cleverly placed, if that's what you want to call it. And just do not get hit. Just don't get hit. So, yeah, it's pretty much all I had to talk about. The update schedule will be a little bit weird for. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Anyways, update schedule is going to be a bit weird for a little while. Until I can get everything back together. Once everything's all caught up, update show uh, resume regular what they're usually like, pretty much. I'm pretty sure if you shoot one of these cannons. Yep. So if you're ever low on health, you can just shoot one of those cannons. How did I get under there? And you can get a coin back. You always get your coin back. Ah, uh, it's stuck in the electrical fence. What? Alright. Let's get some health back. Oh, I thought I got hit there. Anyways. Ah, uh, let's see. I say anyways a lot. It's kind of, kind of bugs me now that I've kind of realized it. Alright, fall. Trick the bullet, trick the bullet, trick the bullet. Alright. Follow me. Ah, oh, are you serious? I was so close. Follow me. Wait, this isn't Sonic. I can't sing that. Never mind. Anyways, I said it again. I have to think of a new transition. Besides, anyways. I've got nothing. Alright. Oh yeah, I can just use alright. That's good. Alright, so we've gotten this star. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I have... Because, alright. Sonic is going to end way earlier than Mario. We know that already. We're probably... Maybe we're Sonic will at finish up halfway through Mario. I have no idea. But once Sonic is done, I'm going to take maybe like a week hiatus from uploading a second Let's Play and just do Mario for a little bit. And then I have something else planned. That'll probably go on a little bit past Mario. What? Wait, why am I going out here? Oh yeah, I'm going to feed the Hungry Luma. So yeah, pretty much what's going to happen is... <sighs> Pretty much what's gonna happen is that after Mario, I'm going to upload, start uploading something else that'll go on for a little bit longer than the uh, this Let's Play is gonna be going for. And then after that third Let's Play that I'm gonna be doing is over, I'll probably take a week, two week hiatus. And then I have other games. Well, I have one of two other games planned. I'm thinking about another one, but I'm not sure. But, leave in the comments, because I'm curious to see if people actually watch these videos. But, if, you, if you're watching this, uh, please leave a comment. I'm, I'm wondering uh, whether you guys would want me to tell you what games I'm planning on Let's Play, or would you rather keep it a secret? Because if you guys want me to tell you, I'll gladly tell you, because it's not like I'm keeping secrets from like, like half a million people. Like Chuck Conroy would be doing, but if you if you want to know, tell me. If you don't want to know, tell me also. That would be interesting to hear what you guys uh, think about that. So yeah, pretty much whatever you guys think. All right. So what we've got to do here, if you want to get your secret star, which is a very infamous one. Alright, so how much does he need? Or it need? It needs 30, which you'd probably be like, well, that's ridiculous, we only have half. Well, saltless sal- saltless sally. I don't think I've ever said a dumber thing than that. I was trying to think of something to go with, like, stupid Sid or something, but I didn't want to call a guy named Sid stupid, so I just said saltless sally. That's gotta be a new thing. You can you can hear how enthusiastic I am about this stupid thing I've created, which will probably never be a thing. Good. 
Saltless Sally should never be a thing. What the hell is a saltless Sally, by the way? Anyways. <sighs> Said it again. Pretty much what you're gonna do here is kill chain jumps. Starbits fall to ground. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Profit. See, we already have more than enough to feed the Luma. Alright, where art thou? Here you are. It's time to feed you to death. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! Transform! <clears throat> I'll never do that again. I'm lying. So, it gave birth to a planet. One thing I always question is, how did this robot get here if this planet was literally just created? And how does it know language? <clears throat> this is an ammo depot, not a garbage dump. What, do people think they can just tear us their trash here and it'll magically disappear? Hey, we've got plenty of bombs, maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Alright, this is annoying. Because you've got like 30 seconds, because since pretty much beggars can't be choosers. But this person is begging you to do all this, yet they're like, alright, it's got to be done in a certain... I already screwed it up. What you're going to want to do is throw all the bombs that you can as accurate to those yellow dots as you can. Because if you can get them on the yellow dots, you'll will profit. Oh, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Come on! Yeah! First try! Where are you at? Yeah, you do owe me big. Because this is a really hard mission. And I got it on my first try even after screwing it up. Where are you at? I'm very tempted to just jump off the edge right now. Because <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> Yahoo! <clears throat> so looking around me right now, I have a lot of things on. I have my computer on, I have my Wii on, Audacity's on, I'm downloading something to edit for my friend. My capture card's plugged in. I'm recording, obviously, so my software for recording is open. My 3DS is getting charged. A lot of my lights are on. There's a lot of, like, electricity going on in here right now. I don't know why I felt the need to share that with you. It just kind of did. Anyways, now that we've done the pointless mission, which is usually really hard, but not this time, I guess. Not today, Joker. <clears throat> Let's do breaking into the Battle Rock. The real mission. Here we go. Take two. Action. <laughs> so this time we're not getting the rainbow star. Well... Yeah, we're not getting the Rainbow Star, and we are not going to feed a Luma to death. Please, think about the children. Just five cents a day will save the world from this mass murderer of Lumas. He feeds them to death. What a horrible person. Please, think about the Lumas. Call 1-800-555-KILL-MARIO today, because Luigi was better anyways. Alright, I'm helping you. I'm also bombing you. Ooh, that was scary as my way of make a shortcut for you and transform. What do you mean a shortcut? I had to go up there anyways. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know what to do here at all. Oh, pull stars. Right, hold on one second, guys. Oh. I love this part of the song when, like, you're in... Like, I love how the Battle Rock theme sounds like when you're doing Polestar stuff like this. Seriously, my audio is still really weird for some reason. I need to figure out why it's like that. Because there are so many great songs that I just want you guys to hear. I don't want you guys to have to go look up like the 
the original soundtrack to this, the OST or whatever to this game. Because you guys deserve what it hear you guys deserve to know what it hear what it sounds like without you having to go search it up on your own. I have to figure out and then it goes right back to the regular battle rock. I mean it's it's gorgeous. It's Georgis. As some might say. Georg Lopez. Steven Georg. Alright, let's go. Alright, get all the star bits. While I'm missing some in the process. Oh, never mind. Oh! <laughs> oh! Well, I don't even like. What the hell? I don't remember this part. Oh, it's with a cannon. Yeah, I don't think you'd expect this of all things to be a cannon. This isn't cannon. Again, shooting those little things will get you that. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do here is aim and shoot. I didn't know Mario was rated M. <laughs> Alright, can I get in it right from here? Nice. I thought I was going to have to go back again. I just love all the explosions that happen when you do teleports, and it gives you that really cool, like, image, pretty much, is what it is, because, like, you can see in the back, whatever, like, you can see behind Mario all these explosions going off, and it usually looks really cool, like, while you're flying like that, <clears throat> it's like Michael Bay directed this or something, get a star, or screw up like me. Alright, ready? This is what we're gonna do. Go! Oh! I did. I thought I missed it! I guess not! I swear I will never make that voice again. Th that even annoyed me. That's saying something if you can annoy me. Alright, we've got one more level to do here. And we've got one life left to live. But there are two lives that I'm still living. Alright. We've got one mission left to do. At least for this... At least for Battle Rock. Currently. Alright. Top Maniac and the Top Man Tribe. Tribe. Chive? Tribe. And yes, just like Mega Man 3, this boss, the Top Man, is absolutely pathetic. I'm not calling Top Man pathetic, because he's kind of deadly, I guess. But his power-up sucks. And this boss sucks, because he's really easy. Like, the majority of the bosses in the- Whoa, I almost got him. But, yeah, most- The majority of the bosses in this game are really easy. Some of them are fun to fight, like King Caliente, for example, but the majority of them are really easy. Again, some of them are cool. One later in particular that's similar to the first uh, the first Bowser Jr. fight that I really like because it's it's cool, but it's again not very hard. Whatever. It doesn't have to be hard to be good. That's what she said. Anyways, I said it again. I'm I'm gonna I'm getting really subconscious about that now. You can get you can get a life here, but who cares? It's way too easy of a boss, anyways. You can knock the guy into the electricity, which is the key mechanic of the boss fight. Sweet freedom. Transform. Again, it's not a shortcut. It's actually required to do this to get here. To where we're going. Alright, break box. Dodge Rocky Wrench. Reveal pipe. Get coin. Collect star bits. Blow up wrench with said star bit. Blow up another wrench with said star bit. Hit Rocky Wrench. Get the coin. Go down pipe. 
profit. And we've got another gravity section. Of course! Alright, let's go. I always have liked these gravity segments. They are quite intriguing. <laughs> quite. Oh, okay. I overreact whenever I want. I'm about to get hit because I hate getting hit. Well, I guess would make sense, but... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. I just lost control for a moment there. Alright. Flip gravity. There we go. Shortcut. I don't even think I have to go up here, but hey, shortcut. Oh, I guess I was supposed to go up here. Cool. So, shortcut. Unless you... Oh! Almost got killed. You know, no big deal. Even though I hate getting killed in this game until the later levels, because they're understandable. What, I've only died... I've, the only real death that I can think that I had was on... Well, besides the ray surfing, which I have... I think I got like five or six deaths in that, or maybe four. <clears throat> but the only real death in an easy level that I had was that one level from the terrace where you had to step on all the switches. Alright, kill you, kill you. Speaking of Mega Man, which I brought up a while ago, so, yeah. Back to the Mega Man conversation that wasn't even a conversation, it was just more of me talking to myself. And this is also going to be more of me talking to myself. Anyways, back to Mega Man. So, I beat Mega Man 1, I beat Mega Man 2, I'm doing Mega Man 3. I hate Snake Man's level. I like his song, a theme song, I hate Snake Man's level really annoying if you don't have the rush jet which I don't yet and same thing with Gemini man's level I also don't have the rush jet I've watched the Megas playthrough of both Mega Man 3 and 2 also you can see hold on you can see Top Man's shadow if you look up there he is derping around up there and then flies down yeah this guy is pathetically easy you could go back there and get out oh, an extra life mushroom, or like a life up mushroom or one up. But let's be honest, you're not gonna need it for this fight. All right, bounce him. Oh, bounce on him, then bounce him, then profit. Yeah, and. Also, Gemini's level is also really annoying if you don't have... If you're not properly equipped, that level's very... I got hit on this guy! Really? Are you serious? Alright, hold on. Alright. Very easy, even though I got hit. Don't manage... Don't even know how I managed to do that. Whatever. Take the star. This has been going for a good 23 and a half minutes. Oh, this is what my recording time says. So, anyways, in this part, we did all that we can in Battle Rock Galaxy and also took on a uh, Speedy Comet. I th no, not Speedy Comet. Whatever the hell that comet is called in Honey Hive. This has been Bacon Burger King. And in the next part, the first thing we're going to do is take on Bowser. But before I end it off... Let's kill more Lumas! Even though I... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, my epic ending. What happened? My epic ending. It's not working. Anyways, this has been Bacon Burger King. I will see you all next time.